Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a quick tips and tricks video. This is the second part of performance versus battery life. But it all not only uh, has to do with uh, battery life on laptops, it also has to do with performance on desktops. And this video is pretty much um, good for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 as this option is available on all three operating systems. So basically it has to do with, of course, if you have a laptop, first of all, it's battery life versus performance. But if you have a desktop, I'm going to show you that you can actually maybe improve your performance, have a faster running PC with an option in the control panel. So go to the control panel in Windows 7. Uh, you can access the control panel by going to the start menu and you'll see the control panel there. Uh, in Windows 8, Windows 10, you can search for it and type control panel and basically where you will be just go down into something called power options in power options you will see the plans that are available so for a laptop user what could be used is balanced balanced means when you're plugged in performance is increased when you're on battery performance is decreased and this is to save battery life in a desktop, you want to have the best plan possible. So if on a desktop computer you see that you're on balanced, you should have available, and if you don't see it, you see here, show additional plans, click on that. You'll see I performance. If you click here, this means that now you will be at the best performance possible for your PC. That means it's going to use maybe a little more power but it's not going to throttle down. It's going to keep everything running at the best performance possible for what you're doing. Um, you might be in a balance mode because some people will say, well, you know, why do I have balance mode on a desktop? Well, because of the energy saver feature, basically because of new today's standards, a desktop computer, of course, takes some power. And if you have a balance side to it, it means that when you're not using your PC, you're actually, your desktop might actually throttle down to save power. So it means that maybe, you know, after a year of using your PC, your desktop, you might actually have a little less of a, you know, of a um, side of, of paying for the performance of your desktop computer via, you know, your uh, electricity bill. But apart from that, you know, if you're never using your battery on the laptop, if you are on the desktop, you know what, I, I rather have high performance so that your computer actually works with the best possible performance all the time. And in some cases, you might actually see a difference. For example, on one of my Toshiba machines, I do see a difference. When I'm on high performance, it actually runs much better than when it's on, you know, power saver mode or balanced. So uh, that's a little tips and tricks here to have better performance out of your desktop. And of course, uh, remember that if you use battery uh, from time to time, balance might be a good idea for the side of having your PC automatically go into a different mode when you're using your battery on the laptop. So it all has to do with, you know, um, battery versus performance and last but not least if you use a laptop you're going to use it somewhere you know that you can't plug in for a long time well you can actually kick in the power saver mode automatically what this will do is lower brightness of your screen it will of course throttle down your cpu and try to make your computer use the least amount of power possible so that it was going to extend the battery life when you use it if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up Thank you for watching.